Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, teacher. I hope all of you are fine. Yes, teacher. Have you had your lunch? Yes, teacher. Okay. All of you like to eat samosa? Yes, teacher. What shape of a samosa? Triangle. Very good. Triangle shape, isn't it? Okay. So I will show you some pictures. Which one of this is triangle shape? First one. First one. First one is a triangle shape. So, all of you know triangle, isn't it? I will give you some triangles. Each bench forms a group, okay? Now, tell me what are the specialities of a triangle by observing that figure? Triangle has three sides. It has three sides. What about in angles? Three angles. Three angles. Three angles. Any other special figure? It's a closed figure. Then, how many corners? Three corners. three corners. So, triangle has three corners, three sides and three angles. Okay? So, triangle, it has three sides, it has three angles and it has three vertices. Clear? Yes. Okay. So, uh, what about the shape of a bread? So that he can completely utilize the field. 
by knowing which measurement of the square you can help the farmer area area very good by knowing the area of the square you can help the farmer clear so what is the equation to find the area of the square sorry side to side very good if you know the side of the square you can find the area using side to side what if we don't know the uh, length of the side if you don't know the length of the side what will we do you don't know okay so now suppose that i have given the length of the diagram 6 cm given the length of the diagram now by splitting this ground in four parts what happens to this square by drawing the diagram what happens to this square Split into four parts and four parts are triangles. Each of them is a triangle. So, in, uh, in the square I have given, you can see four triangles. Isn't it? So, suppose that the length of the diagram is 6 cm. So, let B, D is 6 cm. Then AC will be then yeah, 6 cm. Now, you can mark the length of each sides of the triangle. Isn't it? So, please mark the length of each sides. A O O D O C and O D of the triangles. So, if you know the area of one triangle, you can find the area of the 
അനുജനം